Hi kids, thank you so much for subscribing to Kids Choice, where you can listen to me read all your bedtime stories and enjoy fun activities. Tonight's book is an interesting one. It's called The Amazing Zoo. So cuddle up in bed and let's read this story together. The Amazing Zoo by H.B. Gilmore. Pictures by Nate Evans. Today my brother Rondo's class is going to the zoo. I want to go too. But while Rondo is visiting the monkeys and the giraffes, I'll be having a snack and taking a nap at Miss Melody's Little Blue Daycare. It isn't fair. I don't want to be in daycare today. What I really, really, really want to do is get splashed by a seal or shake hands with a kangaroo or share a bag of peanuts with an elephant. Mm, that sounds really good. I tell Miss Melody how I feel. Then we have a great idea. We can make our own zoo. We hand out scissors and paints and paste. We draw whiskers and ears and tails and manes. Then we try on our mask. It's amazing, all right? We point at each other and giggle and laugh. Even Riff and Lindy join in. Lindy's a penguin. She wobbles when she walks. Riff roars like a lion. Roar! He's the king of the cats. <laughs> I scratch like a monkey. I swing from a tree. Nobody is a better monkey than me. At nap time, I dream Rondo visits our zoo. He says, cool. I like it too. When we wake up, it's snack time. There are animal crackers to eat with our milk and our juice. Guess what we do next? It's the most fun of all. We have a zoo parade. We grow and hiss and roar and hoot and hop and slither and gallop and soar. <laughs> all our friends wave and cheer. When I get home, Rondo is there. He tells me how much fun it was seeing all the animals. Then he asks, Allegra, what did you do today? We had fun too. We made our own zoo. Maybe we should do that next time, huh? Thank you so much for listening to my story. Good night, kids.